everyone, this is Drew and today we are playing some Path of Exile, some more Path of Exile. I meant to make a Path of Exile video last week, and I did, uh, with this little number here, who is a Templar. He freezes things, he's interesting, I actually really like him. Actually, I'm going to show you guys him before I move to the character that I'm kind of, sort of, at the moment. But right now, this guy is really fun. He just freezes stuff. He does not give a shit. He does not give a flying fadoodle. About all? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's put on the Herald of Dupe, and we're gonna go over... I've been saying dupe so much lately. My, my, just, who cares? Block. Block it. Block. Yeah. Uh, FPS, massive FPS drop, because why not? Dink. I mean, this is just fun. I just like it. This is cool. Although he is over way over leveled for this zone. Dink. This is fun. I like this guy. We may actually stick with this guy for a little longer. Although I'm kind of loving leveling him with some friends, potentially. Hello. So, not exactly the absolute moose of the goose juice. Kashlam. So this guy's a fun puppy. We're gonna take him back home. And uh, instead, I'm gonna show you cool cats. Who I have been playing for a while. So this is these are all my characters for the Prophecy League. <laughs> I've leveled a lot of characters, alright. I have a 19 Marauder, 54 Shadow, and 16 Templar, 77 Champion, 84 Trickster. Trickster is a Shadow, 77 is um, Champion is a Duelist. And then I have the Dupalist. And I have these two. We're going to try the Dupalist because the Dupalist. Uh, I should have called him the Dukesalist. Two weapons. Which is cool. So basically, what this puppy does is he stabs things a lot. Over and over and over again. Let me see if I can get a bum away point off somebody. Uh, fuck it. I can't. That's fine. We'll just fly on over here. And this thing. I, I blaze through that first difficulty level. It's not all that difficult to get through, really. If you know what you're looking for. If you know how to rush, so to speak. It can be quite doable. And we are just going to fly through it. Like so. Uh, this is this is probably one of the more... Um, repetitive parts of the game, but I digress. Elrion, I don't give a shit right now. Can we not? <sighs> I hate it when I get these, uh, these master quests when I don't even, <laughs> I don't need them at this level. This is not worth it. So, anyway, getting to the basis of this class, uh, he is based on using dual strike. Uh, now, dual strike... You have to have two weapons, and it attacks with both of them at the same time. So you're dual wielding, and it attacks with both at the same time. It's a very, very simple ability. It doesn't really scale with a whole lot. You, it just, it's just good for pure, ridiculous attack speed. And I'm going to show you guys actually in game what build I use with this. Um, and I, I recommend it. The guy who made the build that I'm going to show you, I have played a couple of builds of his. And they are all exceedingly powerful. Uh, one thing I can say about this guy's builds are they are generally, for the most part, um, at least in my experience, really good balances of survivability and DPS. And that's a big problem with a lot of builds I'm seeing these days. It's one or the other, right? So I, I have played one or the other. Uh, the, uh, the Blender build I showed you guys earlier in an earlier video with the cast on crit, the one that was basically vomiting lightning. That one has a shit ton of DPS. Okay, that thing DP that thing spits out probably 50 to 100k DPS. However, he dies all the time, and I hate it. He's really squishy. Mostly because the ability he uses, Cyclone. Elrion, for the love of God, go away. Stop stalking me. Cyclone is based heavily on what kind of terrain is in the vicinity. And that may sound dumb, but uh, in the end, it's actually really intuitive. 
because if you're if you're whirling your swords around and you hit a wall, you're not going to just keep whirling. That's dumb. So, that's the the basis of that situation. Um, hello. I'm not interrupting, am I? Infernal seal. I hope not. Okay. I'm getting I'm getting really um demeaning. I don't know. Whatever. And if you guys were thinking, a Path of Exile video on a Monday? What is this? Pablo Picasso's funeral? No. It's not Monday, by the way. It's Tuesday. Probably. I'm currently doing something in my head. Um, about what day I'm going to upload this video. <laughs> no, it's going to be Tuesday. But I I, uh, I got a comment in the, my Q&A video I did last week for Chivalry. Basically suggesting I just take a couple weeks off. And I don't want to do that. Because I like making these videos, I really do. Especially about games I actually fucking enjoy playing. I'm not going to sell that. I'm not going to sell that Bino's Kitchen Knife. I need to actually keep that. Uh, because I need it for this build. And this is a well-rolled Bino's Kitchen Knife. Um, hopefully he doesn't BM at me, uh, because I, I know I hate it when people tell me it's not for sale. <laughs> Shit, I was just keeping it in that thingy, in, in that tab. Oh well, I digress, so, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm just talking about my experiences basically with this game. Um, I have played really survivability based builds. That would never die. Uh, they could... I, I've played a build with maximum block before. Tons of health. Massive armor. But he only did, like, 14k DPS. 30 with a... Um, with a Doriani's Catalyst. And... That... Just didn't fly. Like, it's just not fun. Just standing around. It would take me... A matter of seconds... A matter of, like, 5 to 10 seconds to kill... Uh, groups of um, white mobs. So, yeah, that was just that was that, right? Okay. A lot of people like skipping Solaris Temple, and I've played it so many times that I like skipping it too when I can, but it's my favorite tile set. It's the most beautiful map in the game, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. Mostly because of the music, I gotta say. Because the music is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, man. Like, I actually listen to this music sometimes to help me fall asleep because it's so damn beautiful. Oiled coat. Let's see. That's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. Get out of here. Stupid portal. Uh, okay. So... That's, that's my whole experience with uh, survivability DPS. Uh, my very first huge DPS build was actually by Fixed, um, who is the guy who developed the build that I'm trying to build right now. Which I will get to shortly. I'm going to show you guys that link in just a second. And I'll, I'll try to link it in the description if I remember to. If I don't, just remind me in the comments and I'll do it pretty quick. Shoot the whoop, baby. Okay. Generally, I just try my best to skip past as many enemies as I can. What you're probably seeing is uh, a very simple way to play Path of Exile, but it's honestly my favorite way of playing it, in that I just hold uh, an attack on a single enemy, and that's that, you know? I like it. I like that very much. Cyclone is just a step beyond that where I just have to basically hold it on a general area of enemies. Oh, hey. Hey, Navali. Forged in battle, You will find Vagan and complete his mission. One more. A wealthy exile. That's fine. That's good for me. Um... 
Let me see. Alright, what can I dump my shit into? I'm pretty sure I'm going into Heart of the Warrior, but let's just double check. Let's double check by finding this shit. So you can see, uh, I've got my hours up quite a bit. And... Frooms. PoE Frooms. <laughs> this is where I get all my builds, by the way. Classes and builds. So I'm gonna go to Duelist. And I'm, I can just look up Fixed. And I'll find it. Two-hand sword crit lacerate project. I kind of am interested in that, but we're checking out his crit dual strike slayer. Although I'm interested in this thing. Uh, huh. Fuck it. Yeah, let, 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 we're gonna keep. So this is it. He always has this cool picture and this this little graphic thing. I like it and a little tiny poem. A feeble blow is what he said. A moment later, he was dead. Cool as hell. All right, so hybrid armor and evasion with the keystone sacrifice. Vol grace, caps dodge for a full 10 seconds. Cool. Okay, we got Beano's. Beano's Chino's. I don't know why you have ice golem up to such an extent. I don't. I don't think that actually levels up the bon the benefit of the um, the golem. Anyway, um, I. I chink. We're just going to check. We're just gonna. So, Fix is fantastic. He shows the whole tooltip thing. If you're familiar with Path of Exile, you know your tooltip stuff is basically how much damage it does when you just look at it in this screen. If you hit C, you'll get this screen. You'll get your tooltip. I do 520 damage, which is pretty damn nice given my level. Uh, but he gets up to 600k and even. Uh, even 2 million. Sometimes. Uh, look at this shit. Two, almost 2 million DPS. That's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. So this is the tree he uses. This is the skill tree. I showed you guys earlier. The massive skill tree. And uh, so basically... Da, 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 I know that I can... Uh, I want to come up here and I probably want to get to the end of this thing pretty quick. Because back here is um, it's some good stuff, but it's only it's only really good for the later stuff. But I mean I, I digress. We will get what we will get. So basically, yeah, we want to move up here. We want to take this. And we're good to go. And so we can come back to Solaris Temple and get our shit done. So yeah, it's a really nice build, and again, Fixed is fantastic, he makes all kinds of cool shit. And I like just having this this window open, the passive skill tree, uh, zoomed in on the area that I'm working through. Either on a separate monitor or right in here. Usually I'll do it in a separate monitor, it's just easier. Hey Dahlia, if you'll notice, I have all of the, uh, the quest requirements for her stuff. I need an intelligence amulet. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's just see. Are you any good? No. But you're better than this, so... Shoot. And now we take this Infernal Talc to the Dupe House District. The Dupe House Dupe District. I'm going to be saying dupe a lot. Uh, because it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun to say. I will find Vagan in here. Why is Vagan in here all of a sudden? I don't want to find Vagan in here. I'd rather not find him in here. Let's find him later. That's fine. And now we can go kill General Griffithius. He's a creepy monkey fuck. I think we're just going to kill General... General... General Griffithius. And then call it a day. Oh my god. Elrion, you are stalking me. You need to stop. It's getting to a point where... Oh, shit. Okay. There is a slight problem with this guy. Uh, this character doesn't have a whole lot of health at the moment, and his armor is not good. But that's because his gear sucks ass. I guarantee once he gets better gear, he will be doing a whole heck of a lot better. Alright, I think... We'll be fine. Oh, shit. There's more of these towers than I thought there were. There were. But that's okay. I can just focus fire down them. 
That was actually quite close. Got kind of scared. Cool. Elrion. I got all 10 XP for that. <laughs> I just... I'm just gonna skip them. Skip them! I like skipping. It's fun. My soul was... HOLY SHIT! I exploded. Gravisius, go away. I don't need your shit. Okay, this guy's DPS is not too hot right now, but that's because I'm running on a 4 link. And it is not a very well optimized 4 link. <laughs> so, bear with me. My place is at God's side. Where will your journey end, Exile? I don't know. Dying in battle. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good old voice lines. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. Come on, Chachi. Sick. Alright. Giant Mana Flask. I'll take it. You good? You're... you're okay. Shoot. I'm gonna... let's just teleport back. And... I'll... uh, wait. Um, I, uh... I don't want Cyclone, though. Ice Crash is cool. No. Okay, so what I want is to uh, actually just finish up. Yeah, 15 minutes. I want to try keeping my videos these uh, in the future to probably 20 minutes or shorter. I find that my videos are just so long, and that's probably not very appetizing for you guys. So, you know, keep them short, keep my energy up the whole time, and I'll probably end up doing some, some editing here and there at the same time. Uh, so just, like, if I do make a long video... Then, uh, then I can just keep, I can keep it up, if you know what I mean. If I do make a long video, keep it up. That's a sex... Anyway, basically, <laughs> what I mean is, um, I'll do, I'll be doing some editing in, in, in future videos. Maybe not this video, but you'll see. Thank you guys for watching, very much, and, uh, the Dupalist because this guy is duplist. We'll be seeing you kind people next time. Have a grand day. Wiggle, 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 wiggle.